We are literally seconds away from TT starting. And I say that because it has to be the TT Village Martin. And we popped down earlier today and we'll be showing some before and afters. Yeah. And a few hours ago, congratulations by the way, because I think a few hours ago I wasn't sure how it was all going. But no, no. You're hot, you're sweaty, but yeah. you're ready. Yes, uh, we finally we got there. It's, yeah, as you say, uh, this morning it felt like uh, a fairly uh, impossible uh, impossible uh, task but yeah we've got a fantastic team and uh, everyone's really pulled out the stops and uh, I'm delighted to say we're, we're there. Was it hard to get staff for this sort of event by the way? Well uh, strangely enough no uh, I know it sounds weird because normally in the um, in the most trades you hear uh, you hear nothing but uh, you know you cannot get staff for love and the money but I think Bushy's TT fortnight is a different thing and um, for some reason it's just something that a lot of people like to do we've got custom, um, uh, staff who've come back they take their foot their annual holiday to come and work for us and uh, yeah it's it's amazing really and i don't want to sound uh, complacent but no we we actually have a waiting list of people wanting to work <laughs> that is fantastic in fact so I, I talked to a few saying that this is their, their for them it's their tt yeah. to be working here yeah no it's it's wonderful that they that we um, that you know that we that we mean that to them and that they want to come and and that i think it, it, it is sort of uh, it's noticeable in the sort of uh, atmosphere and the uh, and their sort of uh, you know their their jolly d demeanor that they uh, yeah they like to uh, they like to That's do brilliant. it and it, it's a party atmosphere now one thing i noticed you do have plastic i mean at this early an age i thought we had to move away from it what's what's your take on this plastic business now and then we have a dilemma that we yes we we know that uh, we've got to move away from plastic in the long run so uh, we've had a we've had long discussions with all the sort of agencies on the island and we're going to uh, this year we're going to have for the first time we're going to have reusable plastics which means that there will be a uh, that there will be a um, uh, an option to, uh, to to buy a, a bushy's glass for life or a plastic glass for life <laughs> but um, but on the whole the majority will still be in um, in, in plastic um, disposables the discussions we've had is that provided we can guarantee that they go to the in, uh, to the energy from waste plant um, and they won't ever go to landfill but that's a preferable um, scenario we have we've looked at we have looked at sort of corn corn starch based and rice based things but they don't burn and i've and heard that the incinerator doesn't like those so it's, it's a bit the, complicated the though, incinerator can't can't so they have to go to landfill which is they would have to go to yeah. landfill which is obviously being discouraged so that yeah. is part of the dilemma i suppose we're really hoping that eventually that we can go like some of these big festivals where there's a standard glass that everybody yeah. uses and there's, there's a, a, a central washing you know and a system that everybody can uh, take place and that would make sense that you know if the whole island could do it but i think we're we're a little way off that okay well there's millions of glasses i see ready to go yes. there's uh, an awful lot of staff as i say we're just uh, I, I know everything's all subject to getting everything in place but yes. you're ready to rumble for the next Two, two weeks. weeks exactly and uh, you know uh, as i keep saying you know if if the forecast isn't brilliant don't let it stop you coming down just bring your wellies bring your uh, <laughs> bring your raincoat and last uh, three here we go absolutely yeah. it should be great